Hello, it's Matt, and in this video we're going to look at how to publish your Microsoft Planner plan in Outlook. So this is really handy if you want to see your own calendar items alongside the calendar items of your plan. So you do this on a plan by plan basis and you need to be an owner. So I'm going to do this for the marketing plan I've got here. I'm logged in as Megan and you can see here that Megan is an owner of this plan. So switching back to the plan, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to the ellipsis at the top here and choose Add Plan to Outlook Calendar. When I do that, this dialog pops up and you can see I've got two options. Unpublish, which is its default state, and then Publish. And when I choose Publish, I get this iCalendar link down the bottom here. Now, I can cut and paste and share this with other people if I want to, so they can open up the plan in their own Outlook. And if I click on this Add to Outlook button, it's going to open up my own Outlook calendar in Outlook on the web. And it's going to open up this calendar subscription dialog, because that's basically what we're doing, subscribing to the calendar plan. You can see I've got that same iCalendar link here, and then I've got the calendar name, which I can change if I want to. So if I'm happy, I just save. It imports the details, and then I should see the calendar down here on the bottom left hand side and also up here it will integrate both of the calendars together so I see both the items in the same view and if I come down here and hover the calendar and go right click I can rename it remove it change the color and change the charm now if I switch to Outlook In the other calendar section, I will see the new calendar, here it is, and I can either lay them side by side, or I can use this button here to lay them on top of each other so I can see them at the same time. And you can see I've got my blue items, which are my personal, and then I've got the red items, which are the plan. So once the plan calendar has been published by the owner, they can share this iCalendar link around with the members and then they can add it to their own calendar. So to show how this is done, I'm going to switch to another user. Okay, now I'm logged in as Alex. Now the easiest way to do this I've found is through Outlook on the web rather than the Outlook client. And to do it, you just go to the calendar section, you go up here to add calendar and choose from internet. Then the subscription dialog pops up on the right hand side and you paste in the iCalendar link and then give it a name I'm just going to call it marketing and then save it now just like before you see the calendar down here you've got options to change the look and feel and you see it overlaid with your calendar so you can see the light blue uh, items are from the plan now if I start up Outlook now I should see the marketing plan and I can overlay it as before. Thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.